Hi, welcome to another edition of Azure Every Day. My name is Bob Rubaki. I'm a consultant with Pragmatic Works. And today I'd like to talk about considerations for choosing uh, to use Azure Blob Storage or Azure Data Lake Store when you're processing data to be loaded into a data warehouse. And so the basis for this talk is a reference architecture that Microsoft has published uh, that you can see in this diagram here. And the diagram shows uh, a pretty typical pattern, and, and we've implemented um, patterns such as this. And the one thing that, that caught my eye is that in this diagram, it suggests loading data from your source system into Azure Blob Storage. And so uh, recently, I've been working on a couple projects where we are using um, Data Lake Store instead of Blob Storage. And so it got me thinking, what are the, the reasons I would use Blob Storage or Data Lake or vice versa, right? So how do I know how to choose the one over the other? Um, so in a lot of ways they are similar. In a lot of ways you you, you know it's the classic. It, it kind of depends. But ultimately I think that um, in a lot of cases you can't go wrong either way. When I think about the difference between Data Lake and Azure Blob Storage, to me it comes down to the the type of files that they are good at working with. And so now when I think of Blob Storage today, I think of things like um, uh, database backups, I think of photos, videos, um, audio files, um, things like that that aren't maybe necessarily text-based. And I think of Data Lake as being a little bit better with large volumes of, of text data. And so um, if it was up to me, I mean, more often than not, I would probably choose Data Lake Store, but they, if I'm using text file data, to be loaded into my data warehouse. And so, of course, Blob Storage and Data Lake Store both can deal with, with text files. But again, I feel like Blob Storage is, is more intended for things like uh, some of your, um, you know, non-textual data, you know, videos, photos, audio files, and, and, and things like that. Um, but, you know, there are some trade-offs there. So uh, one thing that, that the Blob Storage has that Data Lake does not currently is the availability of geographic redundancy. So the Data Lake uh, does not have that available out of the box. Now, you can set that up yourself if you want to set up a job to periodically uh, replicate your Data Lake store data to another geographic region. But with Blob Storage, you have that avail that option available with the product. You just need to enable it and then and certainly uh, pay for it. But if geo redundant storage is is um, an important um, feature for you, then then Blob Storage is going to be preferred over over Data Lake. Um, as far as security, one nice thing about Data Lake over Blob Storage is that Data Lake uh, works with uh, Active Directory, Azure Active Directory, uh, whereas Blob Storage currently uh, it does not. Uh, so, um, from a security perspective, um, if you're using Active Directory, that's going to integrate well with Data Lake. Now, certainly your data is is secured in in Blob Storage. It's just that you would access it um, through keys, and it's just um, you know just a different way of of accessing it. Um, Depending upon your workload, having your data in Data Lake Store will then provide some, I think, additional opportunities for analytics. So specifically the Data Lake analytics, the ability to use um, USQL and do some, some really neat uh, analytics uh, on top of data that's in your Data Lake Store is something that you can only do with your data in Data Lake and it's not available in Blob. So that would be an advantage of using Data Lake if you want to do that. Um, and of course, you know, price is always a factor. Um, blob storage, there are more options for pricing depending upon uh, how frequently you need to access your data and, and things like that. So you, you do have a little bit more, you have some more options, some more knobs to turn, if you will, about managing cost. Um, but generally speaking, I think Data Lake is going to be a little bit more expensive, but it, they're within range of each other, but it would certainly be a consideration. Now with Data Lake, um, it's just priced based on volume. So as you reach certain uh, tiers of volume of data, then your pricing will go up. And that's similar with Blob Storage. But again, Blob Storage has more options for kind of that hot, cold, how often do you need to access your data. So either way, you, you, you probably can't go wrong. Um, but I thought it was an interesting point as Microsoft has published this reference architecture. And of course, there are many ways to solve this problem. Uh, but I th thought I would give a, a few of my thoughts on, on using Data Lake Store versus Blob Storage in a data warehousing scenario. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about uh, data warehousing in Azure, please let us know. We would love to talk with you about that. Thanks. Have a great day.